African development partners and donor development partners just met recently in Johannesburg to discuss CADEP, the Comprehensive African Agriculture Development Program, and the progress of it. Now, part of this meeting was a presentation on a stock taking that had been taking place around aid flows. Monique, what do you think? Are we seeing that there is an accounting mechanism coming up that will make these aid flows more comprehensive and lead towards better donor coordination? The main emphasis of CADEP is at the country level. And this is where there are existing donor working groups which are very much involved in looking at um, the coordination between the donors and the government. So I think there is already a very strong basis. Um, at the regional level, there are donor coordination mechanisms emerging. ECOWAS has a relatively well-organized donor group led by Spain. Um, COMESA, the, the donor group, is, is actually um, starting to get itself organized. So at that level, there are, you need to tackle these things at the right level. The DPTT itself is more at the continental level and engages directly with the African Commission and with the NPCA. If you look at the Catching the Picture um, PowerPoint, you see, the, uh, uh, you see a real big mess of all kinds of donors doing all kinds of things with these institutions. From that, we have to draw the conclusion that it's time we got our act together. Are there any mechanisms on the horizon that could contribute to transparency, to accounting, and maybe f to better coordination. I spoke to Jeff Hill in December, and he was talking about new game changers, system changers. He mentioned something about that there is uh, not sufficient clarity on the roles and responsibilities of different partners. And I think that's something that we had expected to emerge last year when we were um, discussing partnership agreements, and that hasn't materialized yet. It's kind of been delayed a little bit by the Malabo process and the need to develop a new roadmap. So we would like to see how the African institutions want to engage with the donors, and that will define the donor agenda. So we don't set the agenda. It's actually being set by the African institutions. Another issue is that... Um, uh, we have to keep in mind that CADEP is, uh, is based on, or the concepts of CADEP are more based on mobilizing domestic resources. So we should, as donors, I think we should see ourselves as supporting this particular process. And that might mean different types of funding modalities or even different types of programs. I do think that there's still a, a lot to be done in terms of... Um, donor coordination and that this catching the picture exercise is a good first step because it shows to some extent how uncoordinated we are at the moment. <laughs> the stock taking exercise had also found that more than 50% of the aid flows are actually bilateral. Do you see that coming that there is more coordination around the bilateral funding flows? I think it's, it's more a question of uh, uh, together with the agency and the donor group of checking to see whether these, these funding flows are actually well aligned with the CADEP uh, results framework, with the CADEP processes, and that uh, there is regular dialogue on this. And then we can see which funding modality would be the most appropriate. And let's face it, donors are also, they have their own policy agendas, so they might make particular choices that, um, you know, that do definitely tie in with, uh, with the CADEP processes that are definitely coordinated with other donors, but uh, that use the funding, the bilateral funding channel. Now that the MDTF has not been renewed for the time being, African institutions are obviously quite worried that the capacities that they have slowly built up cannot be retained. Are there any mechanisms inside to replace the functions of the MDTF? Well, for the time being, we are discussing um, what, uh, what the time frame would be for certain institutions to, um, to make sure that they have the, the, the necessary resources to continue the process at their levels. We had a discussion, for example, with COMESA, 
and they said they are now um, in the process of, of um, putting the CADEP unit or into their core institution. Some institutions, such as ECOWAS, have never really made use of the multi-donor trust fund because they they have a certain level of domestic resources. So it differs between each with each institution. Through the European Commission, a lot of funds are already flowing to these institutions. And the catching the picture exercise actually shows that the multi-donor trust fund is not necessarily the biggest funder of these institutions. So there were no specific requests for filling uh, some particular funding gaps? At least not as far as I know. But like I said, we're exploring it and we haven't finished the discussions. During the DP, the, during the partnership platform meeting, of course, um, you only get to a certain point and um, the European donors will be having a meeting later in May to, to further discuss how we make sure that we align and, you know, understand each other's positions and also un better understand these fl funding flows. Wouldn't it be better to actually coordinate early on before everything is set into plans? Do you know of anything on the horizon that somebody's attempting to change that? I mean, obviously, the, the, the one thing that is on the horizon is the implementation of the Malabo roadmap. So, I mean, that, that's where, that's the focus at the moment. And that's where we'll be checking, uh, we'll be checking uh, our existing initiatives against that roadmap. And we will be looking at where, where the gaps are. What, does the, what do the, uh, does the African Union and what do the heads of state want that, you know, we are not yet engaged in and should we engage? And so we're reviewing our existing programs to see our, what are we doing now at the moment to support this? And we are trying to develop, let's say, a new um, collaborative effort with a number of other donors in uh, West Africa to say, okay, you know, how can we build up programs together to, with the with ECOWAS and with UMOA or WAMU as it's called in uh, in English um, to support that ambition. Thank you very much.